In the late 1940s, John Philp, a Tasmanian boat builder, built this clinker-built dinghy from King Billy Pine. Originally, it was used as a scout boat. In the mid-1970s, two teenage friends borrowed John's boat and went for a sail down the west coast of the Fraser Nate Peninsula to shoot and passage. The plan was to spend a few days on Shooton Island, camping, bushwalking and fishing. The wind had been building up in the afternoons, so when it was time to return, we decided to strike out very early in the morning before the sunrise so that we could enjoy the calm waters. It turned out that Robert had read his watch upside down in the dark. We hadn't started out at 6.30 in the morning as planned. We'd actually set out at 12.30 a.m. But it wasn't until many years later, taking part in a wooden boat rally on the Tamer River, that we had need of a name. Dad taught me how to identify Tasmanian timbers from their smells and gave me a great love of working in timber. The garboard and the next couple of strokes have to be steamed into place. The remainder of the planking is relatively easy because there are not so many compound curves and stresses involved. It's very exciting the day the frames come out and you get all set up with a steaming box ready to put the ribs in place. It was a very hot day and we found that uh, we couldn't have the furnace outside. So we moved the steaming box into the lounge room. Even Pam Philp, John's wife, had never experienced having a steaming box in her lounge room. The original motor in Moonlight was a one and a half horsepower wing. These motors were built after the war from recycled aluminium from uh, redundant aircraft. Even after we rebuilt the motor, it used to spray oil all around the inside of the boat. John later told me that they used to do that even from brand new. Over the years, we've had some great times sailing and motoring on Lake Trevallon. All the kids learnt to sail there and how to handle a boat. These photos were taken around about the time of the movie Titanic. The kids were very inspired by Leonardo DiCaprio and his girlfriend. This photo is of Moonlight and John Philp's original boat on Lake St. Clair. This is at the southern end of the Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park. In the early 1980s, now with nine children between three families, we decided to strike out once again, down the western side of the Fraser Nate Peninsula, with nine kids in the boat and a little tender to carry our surplus gear. About 10 years ago, we moved north to southeast Queensland to Maroochydore. Moonlight now finds its home, cruising around on the Maroochy River and up and down the coastal waterways. We've had a couple of great journeys up to Fraser Island and there's some other videos in this series that you can watch.
In Wind in the Willows, Water Rat said to Mole, Believe me, my young friend, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, half so much worth doing as simply messing around in boats.